It is a pleasure to talk to you three. Thank you very much for the time. You know, starting off, Wanda, what was it like creating this series? Because it has such a great old school vibe that has a brand new heart. I I love everything about it. Well, that's exactly what we set out to do. Um, Mike Epps, you know, he wanted to meet with me and he said, look, I want to do a a, a sitcom about a, a black working class family in the Midwest. And when he said it, it, it sounded so like throwback. And then I said, but wait a minute, where's that family? Like, like, we don't see that anymore. It's like those type of shows just disappeared. And he mentioned Norman Lear, and I'm like, keep talking, because you, you speak in my language. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, we, and we just, you know, just kept talking about it. And I, and I was like, well, you're from Indianapolis. Let's, let's, set, it, let's set it there. You know that place. Um, because that, that was the, the key thing for me, is not just to be funny, but to be authentic. Um, you know, I wanted these characters to, to ring true. Um, I wanted, you know, people to be able to watch it and go, oh, I know that guy. I know this guy. Oh, damn, I'm that guy. Uh, so, yeah. So that's that's where all it all started from. Oh, yeah. Mike and Kim, for you both, what what's it like building this relationship for this couple? Because they have such a unique dynamic. I love the energy and the vibe, tongue in cheek, but a little abrasive. What was that like? For me, it was great because it's not like anything as an artist that I've played before and then as an audience member that I've really seen before. I've seen glimpses of it, but either on a show like House of Cards, where it's like not that really, but just little ideas of it, um, or you know the, the 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 couples that were on TV. Um, we're a different kind of power couple <laughs> in our own crazy way. You know, we don't own a record company. We don't, we don't, you know, selling drugs. We are just trying to survive at this point. Um, and to be able to do that in such a real way and to have the history that we have and the layers of the history, it goes back to the great work that uh, Wanda, Regina and the writer's room with Mike hovering over that, um, you know, where you get these characters that are just so, so different, but they're raw and they embrace their imperfections and, mm-hmm. and the parts that really make them human, which uh, to me is just, that's, that's really a, a great sweet spot to be in. The thing about it is that, you know, some, some of the writing and some of the jokes and these characters are, it's 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 going to shock people is because people are going to say wow i i like i'm finally getting to see something that's like wait a minute they talking about me are they talking about you or they you know it, it these are characters that are like you know they're strong characters and we're touching on some topics and some subjects that are it's gonna be music to people's ears. People gonna really love it. I, I'm curious because it's it's got that gritty element that you humanize that I, again, like I haven't seen it in much uh, that I can even think of, especially for a sitcom format. So did any of you have a favorite episode working on, uh, you know, in terms of either an opportunity that you saw in the script or even just a moment while you were filming it? I mean, truly, truly very selfish of me to say it like this, but it's it's such a nod to, again, Mike, Wanda, and Regina and the writer's room. Um, my favorite episodes were the ones that you don't see Regina coming. You don't see Regina and, and, and her responses and just kind of where her art goes. You don't see that coming and yet you, you hope for it because <laughs> you're like, come on, lady, how much more? How much more? Um, but, but with all of that, just the, um, the, the level of rawness and, and realness and flawedness that, that they allowed this character to have. Um, and so very selfishly, of course, those are my favorite episodes um, because you really get to, you know, feel like, oh I, oh, I did that. I put my foot in that. But you can't do that if it's not given to you on the page. And if you're if your creatives around you who built that character didn't allow that. Um, aside from that, I mean, just every episode because of just the two, th- those two right there, him and her. Um, I just, I, I just marvel at their work 
each and every time. It's it's so good. It's so funny. You know, the ah, the the boxing ring. Oh. It, that that that's really it's 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 speechless. It it leaves me speechless is what I can say because it's yeah, that's one of that's one of my favorite ones because yeah. that's yeah. that is that's something that I mean men and sons are going through this all over the world, you know, and it's 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 so taboo to people, but it yet needs to be explained, needs to be brought out, needs to be platform you know this is this is this is real life you know yeah. what i mean and that's what this show is presenting yeah this given like i said this is a this is not only are we making people laugh but i think we're gonna heal a lot of people mm -hmm. people are gonna be healed people are gonna walk away this is medicine mm -hmm. i i love what both of them said as far as their favorites but um from, from, I'm sure Regina Hicks probably would say, say the same thing, but from the standpoint of the show working, it's the, the, the restaurant episode. <laughs> that was one of our, you know, early, early episodes. And, and to see Benny and Regina at that restaurant, you got why they were together and you got, you, you got how they worked. You, you you understood that that couple and you saw their dynamic how they how they talk to each other how they work through things you you got you know how regina was able to pick pick through what Benny was saying to get to okay what is the issue what's the problem right. um and i and i just love that that episode because if they didn't make that work then the the rest of the story arc wasn't going to work if people didn't buy into that that first episode and they did an amazing job um with with that mike i'm curious for you uh working with with wanda as someone who's both part creator part part actress you know what's what's her style like i can tell you this she is um she's straight to the point you know what i mean no chaser you know <laughs> I mean, and, and 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 you can appreciate that from a comic, you know, from a, from one comic to another, you can appreciate a, a comic like that because it's it's hard to find straight up real comics like that. Com mm -hmm. most, most comics want people to love them and want them to want to want to be accepted. Not Wanda, you get what you see and you get what you get. And that's what I love. And I think that's what's gonna make this incredible. Thank you all so much. It's really a pleasure. I, I can't wait for people to see this. I can't either.